Oh, a shrieker went off. I can't do this today. I can't do this today. A shrieker just went off. The warden is spawning in. The warden is spawning in. Ah, 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 I gotta go. I Hello, and welcome back to another video. Cheeto is on my head today, and I'm gonna take him off before he jumps, because he will definitely jump, and you all know that. Cheeto is gonna be joining us today because he just finished shedding and he wants to show off his new beautiful scales. So, say hello to him. And then say goodbye to him because he's about to jump. Uh, <laughs> but today, um, today's video, I am going to be going into the deep dark that I found on my last video. Uh, because there was a mob spawner there. Um, one of my commenters pointed that out and I was like, you know what, you're right. I should probably do something with that mob spawner because it's there. So I'm going to create an XP farm so that in the video after this one, I will be able to get the best armor with enchanting and stuff as easy as possible. So let's get into it. Actually, before we start uh, playing Minecraft, I am going to be tracing over all the names on the walls in like a thicker marker so that they actually can be um, readable, whatever the word is. I don't know, but I'll be, I'm going to be doing that real quick. Cool. And you'll also notice that um, Heidi and Hillary are on there. My friend came and added her own name to the wall. And then... Um, this one came from a video that ended up not working out. The mic sensitivity was way too high and it just sounded horrible and kept cutting out. It was bad, but we put their name on the wall, so I'll put that comment there. Another day. It's gonna have to be another day that that happens, but it'll be a nice pickaxe when it does. Now, you may be thinking, isn't this kind of a weird time to come back into it? And I would have to agree, but it's because when I first recorded this, uh, I didn't realize that my camera was on slow-mo, and so while I found it hilarious at first to watch through footage of me playing Minecraft in slow-mo, uh, I was then upset because half an hour of footage was now gone. Luckily, it was all mostly unimportant. I was just getting ready to go into the deep dark, getting wool and stuff, getting my pickaxe ready, so you didn't miss much, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to hop back in where I realized my mistakes. <laughs> Cheeto, if you will stop jumping, that'd be so great. You're stressing me out over there. <sighs> the reality of what I'm about to attempt is setting in and I'm very nervous. Oh, wait, I can finally use the diamond hose that I got. I'm gonna bring them to the place and use them to like mine out skulk and stuff. They'll be useful, but I'm, I'm actually like really nervous. We must face it. Now I have to find which pathway I went down that led me to the spawner. Okay. I think it may be this one. Oh, yep, I hear it. Oh man, I'm nervous. If I set off even one shrieker, I am out of here. Like, I'm sorry, but I can't. Oh, uh, it's sending signals already. Okay. Okay. Oh no, how am I supposed to get down here? Oh no, there's already monsters. Oh man. Oh man, they're setting off the skulk. Oh, a shrieker went off. I can't do this today. I can't do this today. A shrieker just went off. The warden is spawning in. The warden is spawning in. Ah, 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 ah. I gotta go. I gotta go. I wish I put stairs on this thing. Oh my gosh. Cheeto! Why is this when you decide to move? I'm actually gonna start hyperventilating because <laughs> oh is he gonna follow me all the way up because I can't be doing this okay another day guys another day when I have more confidence uh, maybe some totems of undying in my offhand would be super cool would be super cool uh, but right now I can't go down there um, but let me explain what just happened so I'm trying to go down there right there's a spawner. I want to make I want to make a spawner farm, which is gonna be kind of difficult since it's you know the deep dark. Um, so <laughs> I'm still shaking. Um, I'm going down there. Spiders start spawning. Zombies start spawning from the spawners. They're setting off the skulk. The skulk, if enough get alerted, it sends a message to the shriekers, which spawn the warden. And so um, yeah. The warden spawned in and now it's down there and I don't know what to do about it. Hopefully it'll just despawn. 
I don't know if they do that. Like, I think the warning can definitely one-shot me at the state that I am in. Like, I think that's a 100% fact. But, whoo, mama. I am, like, terrified right now. snap out of it we gotta figure out another plan i think i'm gonna make a mob spawner somewhere um just like you know the basic tower mob spawner with the, with the stuff you know probably like right there somewhere um i'm still in shock that was that was scary um, yeah. i was about to go be like oh i could maybe build it up there and then i remember that the warden is freaking just couple couple blocks away from there so I'm actually not gonna be doing that I'm gonna build it this way <laughs> okay right here is probably a good place it's not too close to my house that'll like bother me but it's also like not too far that it'll be annoying to try to leave uh, uh try to go to it but I'm gonna find a tutorial on that because I don't know how to build one by heart so be back in a second Okay, so this shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I'm going to be following a tutorial by Voltrox. I'll put the link in the description of what I'm doing, but I'll, all the, the, the hardest part is going to be all the blocks that I need, but other than that, it's, it's not bad. Okay, with this farm, I'm going to try to help try, uh, try and explain like what I'm doing because I do a bad job at that sometimes. But right now, I'm just making a chest to put all the materials that I'm going to need in. Uh, in there uh you're gonna need 11 stacks of solid blocks which is right here and then what i'm working on next is 14 stacks and 20 of these slabs and yes it's gonna be a bit mixed matched uh, mix mix matched technically works mismatched of a farm i'm sorry it's it's what i can do i don't want to mine for hours just to have a matching pretty nice farm so all right i have all the bigger blocks down uh the like the 14 stacks and the 11 stacks then i then you got to get 10 stairs which is super easy i'm gonna need a lot of wood for this oh i didn't even know there were these caves near my houses i'm finding all sorts of stuff near my house that i should have known was here all along but uh i am gonna need some more blocks for like ladders and stuff and like the way up there because i don't have scaffolding because i don't have enough string i have bamboo but i don't have string Ugh, i just i thought i had enough iron but then i remembered that i wasted a ton of it on an anvil which ended up being pretty much useless because i can't even <sighs> okay well i'm gonna go back to the village i need wood anyways and that's where all my big wood trees are so I'm gonna head there and then I'll be back. While I'm on the way there, let's put a name on the wall. This person's name is Brielle. She's my friend and she wanted me to put her name on the wall. Also, during the cursed slow-mo footage, I put duplets on the wall. I really liked their comment. I thought it was funny and I laughed at it, so I want to give credit. Ugh, it's like I'm back home because I spent more time here than I've spent at my actual house, honestly. But let's get to the grind again. Uh, I think finally I have all the materials. What you're gonna need other than like the solid blocks and slabs that I mentioned earlier, you're gonna need two stacks of blocks if you don't have scaffolding. S scaffold scaffolding. Uh, two stacks of ladders, again if you don't have sta scaffolding. Uh, three and 48 stacks of spruce uh, trapdoors. Four chests, four hoppers, and a bed. And then two water buckets, which I'm about to go get, but I haven't gotten quite yet. Okay, uh, while I'm heading back from the village, I have a funny story. So I was, um... I was watching videos on the deep dark because I do want to go down there eventually and I was like like how do you survive it and uh, uh, the video at first was like this is how to find it deep dark uh, often you'll find a deep dark in places where there are rolling hills in plains biomes and I was like hmm sounds a little familiar to me um, <laughs> but turns out this is like the perfect storm for a um, deep dark biome and I just didn't even realize it so there I probably will find more deep dark biomes honestly because I'm just in this huge massive area with rolling hills and plains biomes and it's it's really pretty but it's prone to deep darks so that's really cool all right I can finally start on the farm so I'm gonna pull up the video again and start okay it says start in a high place so I might move all this stuff uh, a little bit higher.
Alright, the setup is a little higher up this time. Uh, I think it might increase spawn rates and stuff. Hopefully this mountain right here isn't going to be a problem in the future. I don't know. We'll deal with it when it comes. Well, alright, up we go. I have this 3x3 uh, three three thing of water ready for her in case I fall. And then... Oh, nervous. Ooh, I'm high up. I can see like everything from here. I mean, if only my render distance uh, getting turned up didn't break my um, MacBook, but oh well, it's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna jump down now. <laughs> just don't move, just don't move. Whew. Okay, now we just have to put the ladders up. Alright, so all the ladders are down, now I just have to jump down again, except this time there's ladders. Oh, please let in the water, please let in the water. Okay. I know I'm gonna land in the water every single time, but it makes me so nervous. So nervous. Now I'm just gonna move all of the supplies up here. Just building a little platform for the chest. Ooh, it lagged there. It scared me so bad. Cheetos. Okay. <sighs> I believe in you, Cheeto. You can hang on to my shoulder and not move around for like 10 minutes. Nope, nope. He's not capable. I changed my mind. Oh my gosh, I almost just died. Who- There is a trap door, and I almost just landed on it. How did that even happen? Oh my gosh. That scared me so bad. I almost just died. I would have absolutely died if I landed on that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this entire episode is just going so wrong. Cheat out! Okay. So now that you're up here, uh, I'm gonna get some blocks. Um, you want to build a two by four platform going this way. So I'm actually gonna build it one block further out so that I can still have this like little platform area. I'm gonna build this out a little bit more. I'm just I really don't want to fall because I will definitely die. Okay, at the end of this platform is where you're gonna place your double chests. Uh, except I, not like that. <sighs> I was really hoping they wouldn't fall and I'd have to go get them. Uh, you place your double chests and put your four hoppers on top of them. Now put two blocks and then stairs right in front. Place slabs on top of the hoppers so that the mobs will die and stuff will get sucked into the hoppers. Now you're just wanna place, gonna wanna place some blocks kinda like surrounding the hoppers if it ever, sorry, I mean the slabs if it ever lets me. Um, <laughs> Just like this. Cheetah's about to fall. He's being banished to the sleeve realm. He likes it there. It's just he's being so annoying. He's he's very active right now and he's not wanting to sit on my shoulder. So he's going in the sleeve realm. He just likes to hang out there. It's fine. He's nice and warm. He likes it, but he's going there for now. After you finish doing that, you're going to place these blocks here. Destroy this placeholder block. Um, and then place two trapdoors underneath those. This way, the mobs won't be able to see you. I'm kind of just quoting this video as I watch it. <laughs> All right, now after that, I'm just building up this temporary staircase. Uh, starting with this, well, we're counting this as layer one. You're gonna build this tube up 22 uh, blocks. So you're gonna add 21 more layers in total. After you got your tube all the way up, you're gonna wanna place solid blocks in all the corners. And all this is kind of for safety, it also just helps the build. It make, <laughs> It's making me a lot more comfortable walking around up here. I'm, uh, I don't want to die. Okay, now you're going to replace all these middle blocks with stairs uh, facing uh, like inward. I'll show you in a second. So just like this. Okay, now those four extra ladders that you have, you're going to want to place in the middle. It doesn't really matter which sides, like either that one or that one, uh, you're on. It just... I think it stops the water, like spiders, from coming up. I don't know the logistics of it. Now, with your slabs, you're gonna go seven blocks out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe in you. And then just fill this part in on all the sides. After you get that done, you're gonna build a wall that is uh, two blocks high. Uh, not there. Oh, that's gone now. Um, <laughs> two blocks high going around all of this, just the entire thing. Alright, so you have that done in like a little cross, uh, like plus sign kind of thing. 
Okay, now with your slaps, you're just gonna connect all the sides, like in the corner, like this. Uh, let me, let me show. Just like this, and then you fill it in and you do it for all four corners. Once you have that done, you're gonna place slabs in each of the like little corner, the long side of the corners, and waterlog them. Um, yeah, just like that. And then you're gonna do that on all sides. All right, after you have the water in all of the corners, uh, you're gonna wanna place trap doors like along these edges, all of them, and then flip them down so that the mobs will think they're blocks and try to walk over them, but they'll just fall into the water and then down the pit. All right, next uh, we are gonna place uh, trap doors in a kind of pattern to prevent spiders from spawning on these platforms. Uh, let me show you the pattern that you're gonna place them in. It's kind of like a cross pattern diagonal thing. It should look like this in the end, and I believe you do that on all the, pla the pa platforms. All right, I finally have it done. It's kind of a hard pattern to do, but once you get the hang of it, it'll be good. After you finish this, you're gonna build a wall that is three blocks high around this entire perimeter. Okay, now after this uh, comes a kind of optional part, which I'm going to do. Uh, you make another layer to go on top of it. Oh, just hit my desk. Um, you make another layer that goes on top of it uh, that are like double spawn rates or something. Uh, probably. Uh, <laughs> Can you tell I'm a professional? Uh, but it's pretty much the exact same thing uh, of these four. Don't put the water down, just put the trap doors. The mobs will still fall into the water. Uh, make sure that with this layer, instead of putting solid blocks on these edges, you put slabs, because um, then it can prevent mobs from spawning down there if you place solid blocks, it, it, it messes it up. So make sure that you use slabs here. After you've got your second layer done, uh, you just wanna uh, want to build a two block high wall around it, not three this time. After that's all done, you're going to want to make a roof out of slabs. Uh, sorry, yeah, slabs. That's that's the correct word. That's what I meant to say. Uh, just all, all the way across, filling in this entire area. Why does he do this? Alright, I finally finished the roof and... I had one slab left, which is really funny, but um, I think it should be active soon. We'll see. All right, the farm. Yep, I just finished the video. It's done. Uh, let me, I'm gonna, where the heck did my bucket? Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I'm gonna test it out to see how it works, but yeah. Oh, looks like we have our first mob. This is the only time when I'm actually gonna need a sword, but um, so it looks like it is working. Oh, look, another one. Uh, and make sure not to crouch or else the creepers might see you. That was really convenient how a creeper came down at the exact same time. But make sure not to crouch or else the creepers might be able to see you and they could explode and destroy the farm, which is not good. So this farm should spawn like skeletons, creepers, um, zombies, maybe just zombies and creepers, not sure. Uh, I'm gonna AFK it for a little bit to show you guys, yep, skeletons, to show you guys how it works. I've only been AFKing for like five minutes and it's already so full. Uh, it's, it's working super well. With just a few hits, I can get so many levels. This is awesome. And look at that. After only five minutes of AFKing, I've already gone up five levels from when I started up before I killed all the mobs. So I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Next week, I'm going to be uh, maxing out my armor, finally. Uh, and then probably going to the nether sometime soon. Look forward to that. Um... And then eventually we'll finally go into the deep dark. But for now, I'm just too much of a wimp for that. Um, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember to comment down below your name and something you thought about the video to get your name put up on the wall. I'm going to do one more before we end the video. The final name going on the wall for today's video is going to be David. I love reading your comments and I smiled at this one. I thought it was super nice. Make sure to comment down below. But thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.